Here's a bedtime story generated by Claude Three. I have lived this story. It is about the remarkable skills of a forensic pathologist. The pathologist stood alone in the dimly lit morgue, the air heavy with the weight of unanswered questions. Before her lay the lifeless body of a young woman, her pale skin a stark contrast against the cold stainless steel table. With a steady hand, the pathologist picked up the scalpel, preparing to uncover the secrets that death had claimed. Each incision was a portal into the unknown, a chance to piece together the tragic puzzle of a life cut short. As she worked, the pathologist's mind wandered to the countless cases that had come before. Each body held a story, a tapestry woven from the threads of joy, sorrow, and the inevitable hand of mortality. She had seen it all, the victims of senseless violence, the ravages of disease, and the quiet surrender of old age. Yet despite the countless autopsies, the pathologist never lost sight of the humanity behind each case. She knew that every body on her table was someone's loved one, a life that had been cherished and mourned. With meticulous care, she examined each organ, searching for the telltale signs of trauma or disease. Her trained eye caught the subtlest abnormalities, the whispers of secrets that the body could no longer keep. As the hours ticked by, the pathologist lost herself in the rhythms of her work. The outside world faded away and all that remained was the truth that lay hidden beneath the skin. Finally, as the last stitch was placed and the body was carefully draped, the pathologist stepped back, her mind buzzing with the weight of her discoveries. She knew that her findings would bring closure to those left behind, a small measure of solace in the face of unimaginable grief. With a heavy heart, the pathologist turned off the lights and stepped out of the morgue, ready to face the next challenge that awaited her. For in the realm of death, she was the guardian of truth, the one who gave voice to the silent tales that the dead could no longer tell. Thank you.